MillionaireMatch.com is a website for millionaires that are looking to date. Uh, I had not heard about this before, but it sounds interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> now, they did a survey of 15,000 people that are dating on their site, which is also kind of incredible. Um, that there's 15,000 millionaires there on this site. There probably aren't 15,000 yeah, millionaires aren't. on the site. I think there are a bunch of women like me who are interested in dating a millionaire. <laughs> oh, that's true, too. <laughs> or it's so, guys whose profile picture is them flashing like 10 $5 bills. <laughs> Baby, I got money. And let me be clear, I'm not really that excited about dating a millionaire. I'm an independent woman. I'm making my own money, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> so look, they found some really interesting things by doing um, this survey. And, and it's a survey of their millionaire um, men and women on the site. So it's d it relies on self-reporting. Who knows if they're being real? But the numbers are just insane. So let me tell you. First of all, uh, they asked the millionaire men whether they would like to date another millionaire woman and the vast majority of them said no. 79.6% say that they look for non-millionaire women because they want to share their wealth with a woman. They like the idea of taking care of a woman. However, when you go to female millionaires, that just kind of flips. 84.5% uh, would prefer to date another millionaire. And the reason for that is because the female millionaires are a little more protective of their money. Mm -hmm. They're also more likely to demand that their significant other sign a prenup prior to marriage, yeah. whereas uh, the men are just kind of like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's 17%, uh, which is very low. Yeah. Apparently these guys are like, I spent like two decades building up this wealth. Whatevs. 82% of <laughs> yeah. female respondents said that they would insist on a prenup prenuptial agreement, while only 17.4% of the male respondents would do the same. So most interesting result of this study, millionaire women, gold diggers. <laughs> 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 it's not enough, I need to have more. Um, so yeah, I don't know which side, the male or the female, is more interesting, but both of them not exactly acting in the, the ways you would expect. Can I hope to find out what it's like to be a millionaire dating at some point. But Can I bring up a hypothesis? And it's going to be an unpopular hypothesis. Would you say that there is some credibility to this argument that millionaire men like the idea of having financial control of their women? Yeah. And so if you, have no, if you have a millionaire woman, then all of a sudden you don't have that control over her. Because if it, they, what they probably are assuming is what I have to give to a woman is money. And if she doesn't need my money, then she can look for a guy who has something else. <laughs> that, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. Uh -huh. uh, but I'm sure many of these millionaire guys are probably wonderful people. Um, but I love this sort of research. Uh, I'm going to quickly bring up, I don't, you were on TYT University with me this week, and we found out a very interesting thing about poor men versus rich men. Turns out rich men actually tend to prefer women with smaller breasts, because the fat reserves in their breasts signal that they can withstand hard times, whereas poor guys are like, she better have big breasts, because we're going to be starving, I guess. So yeah, they prefer larger breasts than the poor. Small breasts and the rich. Yeah, very interesting stuff going on in the male brain. 